Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 21st of May up until the 27th, and as we always do, we'll first look at any games that released without going into one of these videos for whatever reason. So what's coming to the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at a game from the sponsors of today's video, Sonka, and that's Farm Tycoon. This farming simulation game has been tailored specifically to the Nintendo Switch and will see you managing many aspects in order to run a successful and profitable farm. From seeds to vegetables to processed products, dealing with a workforce with different skill sets and managing the cooling of warehouses and anti-pesticides, it's a deep dive into the running of a sustainable business. Will you stay a jack of all trades or focus on a specific area? Will you stick to eco-friendly methods? It's completely up to you which strategy you develop. It's the first game of its kind made specifically with consoles in mind with a UI tailored to analog sticks and buttons. There are a variety of different crops to cultivate, a campaign, scenarios and free play modes to attempt, ever changing weather and a host of animals to breed from bees to rabbits, turkeys, goats and cows. It releases on the 27th of April and will cost £16.99 or your regional equivalent and it's available for pre-order now. Let's look at a few games that are already out but missed last week's video and the first is Guild of Dungeoneering. This Ultimate Edition has been remastered with all content from Pirate's Cove and Ice Cream Headaches DLC included for free as well as new classes, monsters, quests and loot. This is a turn based dungeon crawler where instead of controlling the hero, you build the dungeon around them. You use cards drawn from your guild deck laying down monsters, traps and loot whilst the hero makes their own decision on where to go and what to fight. It costs £17.99 or your regional equivalent. Another game that's already out is Snow Brothers Nick and Tom Special. This is a new version of the arcade game that first released in 1990 and contains the 50 levels of that original game plus 30 new ones. The game has a similar gameplay mechanic to something like Bubble Bobble and can be played either in solo mode or locally with another player. It costs £17.99 and released a couple of days ago on the 19th. And finally for those games already out is They Always Run. Here you play as a free armed bounty hunter hunting criminals across the galaxy. You'll be upgrading equipment, gaining new abilities and basically taking out anything that gets in your way. It costs £15.29. Let's move on to the games coming out this week and the first one is Galacticon. This is an arcade inspired adventure game which seems to fuse together a number of classic arcade games. The trailer definitely reminded me of Joust, Defender and Asteroids at various points and the blurb mentions infinite levels with a progressive difficulty curve and a touch of puzzling to each stage where you can increase your score. There is a local high score table and a worldwide table through QR code reading and a secret to find on each level. Anyone that's been around the channel for a while would know that I'm a huge fan of arcade type games with a high score chasing element and at just £4.99 this may well be something I grab some point soon. Next up there is Token Rambu Warriors. Now I know very little about the Token Rambu series, that's even if I'm pronouncing that correctly to be honest, but as far as I know it's a free to play game with action that centers around forging and collecting a number of swords and I believe there have been a couple of anime shows tied to it as well. This collaboration with Koi Tecmo sees it given the Warriors treatment with that one versus a thousand style action, a 3D battlefield to traverse and an original story based on the source material. Apologies if I can't say too much more about this one, my knowledge of the series is just not there, but if you do know more about the original source material, please do feel free to put some notes in the comments section. This will cost £49.99 and there is a demo available should you wish to try it out. Next we have Remote Life, a horizontal shoot-em-up with a look of R-Type about it. 
There are 16 missions to work through and 18 weapons to try as you blast your way through an ominous world of creepy monsters and menacing bosses according to the blurb. It's going to sell for £14.99 when it releases on the 26th and it does definitely look like it could be a fun time. I will say though there is a lot of competition on the Switch when it comes to shoot 'em ups with some absolute classics calling the hybrid system home. We'll see how this one stacks up when it comes out next week. Then there is Super Toy Cars Off-Road, which is the latest game in the Super Toy Cars series. This new entry takes the series off the beaten track, with your toy vehicles dashing around 15 tracks. There are 20 vehicles, including ATVs, buggies, cars and trucks, and your mini racers will pass Sun Cream and Sand Castles whilst on the beach, and goggles and snowboards as you make it through the snowy tracks. It costs a bit more than its predecessors at £17.99, but there is 20% off of this price up until the 6th of June. The penultimate game for the week is KO the Kangaroo, which is a 3D platformer that sees the titular KO embarking on a quest to uncover the secrets surrounding the disappearance of his father. It describes itself as a love letter to the 3D platformers of old and goes on to say that the game features a beautiful and diverse world and a memorable cast of characters, both good and bad, that breathe life into the world. There are boss battles along the way as KO takes on all comers with a magical pair of boxing gloves with ancient elemental powers. Going purely by the trailer, it reminds me a bit of Ty the Tasmanian Devil, which ironically is also on the Switch these days, and it could be a lot of fun if it gets its platforming mechanics just right. It will sell for £24.99 or your regional equivalent. And finally for the week we have Arcade Spirits The New Challengers. This is a visual novel and sequel to Arcade Spirits which is also on the Switch and sees you trying to balance your social life with the intensity of running an esports team in a retro futuristic world where arcades dominate the game in scene, so says the blurb. You'll design your own character as well as your rival, there are 9 romance paths and multiple endings as you attempt to become an esports champion. It also says that if you have played the first game you can import your choices from that save file and see some returning faces as well as a few surprises. It will cost £16.99 which is actually a little cheaper than the first game and it is out on the 27th. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you? Please do put your thoughts in the comment section below. Another thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Sonka. Please do check out their game, Farm Tycoon. There will be links to it in the top pinned comment. Don't forget, if you are looking for eShop credit, you can purchase it via our website, switchup.gg. Using the code SWITCHUP will save you 10% up until the end of May. It saves you a bit of money, of course, and it helps the channel out at the same time, which is very much appreciated. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>